John Malkovich once said to me, Kevin, doing an audition is like taking a dump in public. I said something funny, you could at least do me the courtesy of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Who of you would like to take a dump? You. Me. Me. Yes, you. Come up here. You are going to audition for the new movie I am producing. OK? Yeah. You understand that? Yes. All right. So you wait for me to call you in. Yeah. Michael Peterson? Uh-huh. Sure. But you make sure that it happens. OK, bye-bye. Knock, knock. Excuse me? Hi, I'm here for the audition. I told you to wait until I call you in. I'm sorry. Look into the camera and state your name and agent. <clears throat> my name is Debbie Googe, and my agent, uh, actually, I, I don't have an agent. <sighs> you know what? For the purposes of this role play, could you pretend to have an agent? Did you ever hear of improvisation? Yeah. Let's do that now. That's kind of what we're doing now, so, yeah. all right. <clears throat> um, I'm Debbie Googe, and my agent is Margaret Harris at Take One Management. Wait, uh, Margaret Harris? Yes. At Take One Management. What is their telephone number? Um, it's, it's 0207. 946. 946. 0762. 0762. All right. It's ringing. Oh, hi. Can I speak to Margaret Harris, please? Oh, is this not Take One Management? You're a dry cleaning company. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Bye. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. Let that be a lesson to you. Never lie in auditions. Don't take it personal. I just hate women. OK, what I'm going to do now is show you how to do a dialogue scene in a movie. Over here is our movie camera and our cameraman, John. Now, I'm going to just show you something. Darling, can I just get you to, um, that's it. OK. I'll just stand you there. OK. Now, you see, it's very important to keep the audience's attention on you and not the other actor. Do you see what I mean? If we were doing a dialogue scene together, and that might happen one day... Thank you. ..what the director would do, he would shoot the whole conversation on one actor. I usually insist on going first. <laughs> They turn the whole crew around, the camera, the lighting, everything. John, can we move the, uh, what's your name? They turn it all around, so everything's now facing the other way. If you look at the monitor there, no, not you, love. What I like to do is to step into the back of the other person's shot. That way, you're still fresh in the audience's memory. You see what I mean? Look, I'll show you this technique in, uh, a clip from a movie I did with a very good friend of mine, Bob Hoskins. Hey, you can look now. Listen, George, I know you've got it. I can see it in your face. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're going on about. I ain't got nothing. I've been as clean as a whistle since I come out of Slammer. I know you're lying to me, George. So why don't you be a good little boy and tell me where you've hidden the painting? You're barking out the wrong tree. I ain't got no painting. I'll see you around. Where have you hidden the Mona Lisa, George? George! Where have you hidden the Mona Lisa? Can anybody tell me what is the hardest thing to do in acting? What is the hardest thing to do? Is it dying? It's a good answer, but no. Is it playing a pedophile? Yeah, that's pretty tough. Uh, that wasn't what I was thinking, but... Uh... It's not the answer. Pretending to ski? You know, pretending to ski is actually uh, pretty easy. Um, 
the hardest thing to do in acting is to cry. So, um, how do you make it look so realistic? Well, you know, all you have to do is to think of a sad time. When I was a kid, my, uh, my papa bought me a, an ant farm. Oh, I love those ants. I gave them all names. Uh, Blackie, Shiny, uh, William. But there was one little ant who only had five legs, and I call him Limpy. Anyway, one day uh, I came home from school, and uh, my papa said to me, um, Al, I'm afraid that Limpy has been diagnosed with cancer. Oh boy, here I go. <laughs> you see, it's working already. <laughs> uh, okay, wah, 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 wah. Right, let me show you the technique and practice in a movie clip. They got me. Here we go. Limpy's got cancer! Where am I? Where am I? What did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm uh, gonna teach you uh, all about acting. Are you ready to learn about acting? Yes. yes. You, what's your name? Uh, Brian. What? <coughs> Brian. No, well, you don't look like a Brian. You don't look like a Brian to me. What do you look like? Stand up. Stand up. Hold your chin up like a man. You look more like, uh... Mr. McMacintosh. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Brando. <coughs> All right, Mr. McMacintosh. What made you ever think that you could become an actor? <coughs> well, when, when I was at school, I used to do impersonations of the teachers and showing off and that sort of thing. And then one day, uh, we were taken to London to see Shakespeare, Love's Labour's Lost. And I just, I looked up and I, and I thought, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to be up there with... Stop talking. Right. You've got to stop talking now. Uh, I'm just reading this document from the World Health Organization makes very interesting reading. And uh, yeah. in the time that it took you to relate your little uh, story or tale or whatever you want to call it, uh, reminiscence, 22 people have died. 22 people. They're dead. Well, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Everybody, I'm, I'm Rafe, um, um, and then and, 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 and you are um, Catherine. And then Catherine, Catherine, yes, I've been Catherine, actually. What? I oh, do. what? You prefer Catherine? Yeah. Yeah, but some people call me Ralph. Some people call me Ralph. Yes. 
I mean, it's, you know, it's very, I, I said it was very straightforward, you know, R-A-L-P-H, Rafe, you know, as it's spelt. Right, we're going to talk about learning your lines now, learning your lines, right? Right. Um, 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 right. That's it. Uh, now then, learning your lines, how do you... Uh, Cathy. What is it? Cathy, wasn't it? Catherine. Catherine, oh, yes, much nicer name, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Catherine Dieter Jones, of course. Catherine Hepburn. Yes, yes, yes. Catherine of Aragon. Uh, Catherine Aniston from Friends, of course. Oh, it's a lovely name, isn't it? Yes, yes you are very lovely. Mm. Yes. So, so what do you do, Catherine, when you learn your lines? What do, what do, you, um, what do you do? Do you sit and practice them at home with your husband? Do you? No, I'm not married. Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, Boyfriend? No. Oh, uh, don't have a boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> uh, girlfriend? No. no, 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 of course not. No, no, it's very stupid of me to even... And, and, and I, I apologise for the... Um, what are you, um, what are you doing after the, after the, the um... Tonight, yes. um, I'm going to see Titus Andronicus. Oh, really? Uh, uh, got a new LP out, have they? Um... It's Shakespeare. Oh, oh yes, of course. Oh, yes, of course, Shakespeare. Yes, of course, Shakespeare. Yes, yes the, the, the merchant of um, and the, the, the two gentlemen of um, 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 the uh, Midsummer Nights. Um, um, yes, and the uh, the one with the um, the, the coloured fella in it. You know, where the um, what's it called? Um, A fellow. Oh, hello to you too. Would you mind? I'm talking to Kathy. The one with the. Uh... I have a question for you. Who's your favourite actor? Come on, everybody's got a favorite actor. Come on, who's your favorite actor? Come on, don't be shy. You don't have to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino. Why not me? <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino, right. Okay, take it, open it. Page 29. Al Pacino's autograph. Wow. That's something? Yeah, I worked with him. He's not what you call a great actor. He's a little limited. You know, he's good. I like him. He is good. He's good. He's pretty good. I still can't, can't believe. Why did you not say me? I asked you who your favorite actor was. If I was you, and I was sat with Robert De Niro, and he said, who's your favorite actor? I would say, well, you, just out of politeness. I mean, I'm not hurt. I mean, I am a little, but anyway, it's no problem. It's okay, you said out, but you know, just think before you open your mouth. I don't like you. It's very important to make a good first impression you only get one chance to do that. <laughs> this isn't funny. Okay, Brian, let's see if you can be a man for a change. We're gonna do an audition right now. I'm gonna be the casting director. You're gonna audition for me. All right? Come on, let's go. <clears throat> so, uh, what are you gonna do for us, Brian? Uh, I'm going to be doing Algernon from The Importance of Being Earnest. Great, how original. I've introduced you to wait, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> what are you doing? So wait for me to say begin. Don't you have any manners? Begin. I've introduced you to everyone as Ernest. You answer to the name of Ernest. You even look like your name is Ernest. Why, you're the most earnest person I've seen in my life. Okay, stop. Hey. Congratulations, Brian. That was without a doubt the worst audition ever witnessed by man. Your choice of speech was poor, your delivery was mechanical, your timing was a joke. I felt sick just listening to it. Look at me, Brian. You are no hope, no future, no talent piece of crap, and you deserve to die. Is the kind of thing they might say to you at an audition, so you need to be ready to deal with that. You can go sit down now. Okay, so 
Who wants to go next? Uh, Mr. Brando, I hope you don't mind me asking. I was just wondering how you go about learning your lines. I never learn lines. It's a waste of time. What I do is I have somebody write my lines on big cue cards. Some people call them idiot boards, although I am not an idiot. <laughs> and the guy holds them off camera so I can read them, like I have over there. This is my nephew. I don't know why I keep him in employment. His handwriting is so bad. I can't, I can't read what it says. Hold it higher. What's the matter with you, Daffy Goon? I'll have words with you later. Ah, oh, you're a good kid. Oh, I'm bored. I'm bored. Come dance for me. Dance. Come on. Who's gonna dance for me? No, oh, not that one, the other one. That's it. Come on, everybody! Come on! It's a celebration! Interestingly, if you're doing a movie and you're smoking a cigar like I am today, a cigar don't look like a cigar on a movie camera. Let me show you what I mean. Now look, there's my cigar. Now look at it through the monitor there, on the movie camera. See? Look at my cigar, look. See, it looks like a sausage. In fact, has anyone got any sausages? OK. Bring them up here. OK. Now, hold them in front of the movie camera. Now, OK? See, look at that. Look at that on the monitor there. See? Wow. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like a lovely box of cigars. I don't know why it is. I think it's something to do with the lenses or something. One of my favorite things to do in acting is uh, improvisation. Do you know what that is? That's when you, the scene isn't written down. You make up the dialogue. You just invent it on the spot. I'm very good at it. I'm going to show you a clip now of me and uh, Marlon Brando. And uh, this whole scene is totally 100% improvised. <laughs> Let's take a look. So, Michael Finale, we meet at last. You want a drink? Yeah, coffee. Let me tell you something. Michael Finale, the real Michael Finale, when he was a little boy, he was playing in the kitchen of his father's restaurant. And two men came into that place and they were working for the local capo. And they demanded money from Michael's father for protection. There was a pot of hot coffee on the stove and they took that pot and they burned him. They burned him real bad. So, if someone were to ask Michael Finelli, the real Michael Finelli, what he would like to drink. He most certainly would not say coffee. So I ask you again, and I ask you to think very carefully before you answer. What would you like to drink? Milk. Two milks, please. Wasn't that great in that scene? And it was all improvised? Every word. So Brando just made that up on the spot? Yeah, but I said milk. See, if I'd have said coffee, he would have known that I was not the real guy, so I had to think real quick, so I said milk. I think Brando's speech was just incredible. Yeah, but I said milk. But to think that up sort of on the spot right there without any kind of script or What is your was... problem? Why are you saying this? You can see that it's bothering me. Why would you say that? Why don't you just say, you were great in that scene? Let's move on. It's simple. What did you think? 
Well, I mean, he, he did actually say milk at the end. But... I said milk. What do you want from me? I said milk. Mm. You don't always get to play the hero, you know? Sometimes you have to play the baddie, you know? Oh, I played some evil buggers in my time. Oof. Oof. I did this one film, Schindler's List. And, uh, oh, thank you very much. And, um, where I had to play a Nazi. Oof. They were a right lot. Nasty evil buggers they were. Oof. Anyway, we'll show you a clip and you can see what I mean. Step away from the monitor, Mr. Fine. What? You step away from the monitor, sir. Monica, who's Monica? The, the monitor you're leaving. Oh, oh, sorry, right. Oh, oh, oh I see. Uh, I thought it was a box. Oh, right, oh. Yes. Right. Hello? Ah, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. No, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. No, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, I know the list, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, of course, Herr Hitler. No, not at all, Herr Hitler. And you, Herr Hitler. Hal Hitler. Oh, my God. Uh, how do you go about preparing to do accents for characters? Uh, I guess what you do is um, try and listen to people, immerse yourself, you know. I was playing in a movie, uh, a Cockney man, and uh, I lived for five months on the east side of London. And there was one line I had a uh, real uh, problem with, and then I, 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 I nailed it. Let me try it out on you. Uh, it was... Um, Oh, we gotta hide the body underneath the apples and pears. God blimey. What's it, I think? How did that sound? Ben, that's uh, uncanny. Really? Uh, it's just like my granddad. Uh, he, he died recently. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Uh, but he lived his whole life in Hackney, and that sounded just like him. Wow. Wow. What is your name? Uh, Brian. Brian. Oh, hello, Brian. It's your granddad. Oh, come and give your granddad a kiss. Oh, oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> you. At the back, in the middle, yes, you. I me? Mean. Yeah, I want you to come and read the scene for me. See if you benefited from any of the advice I have taught you today. Come on, come on, read the scene. Kev, can I have a chair? Oh, wait, 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 what are you doing? It says in the script I should sit on a chair. It says in the script you should sit on a chair. Sit down. Now come in. If it's said in the script to go put your head in the oven, would you do that? And bake your head into a pie, a head pie? Would you do that? Look at me! Look at me! If it's said in the script, you should steal a car and drive it off a cliff and crush that car. And your body's all mangled up in a stolen automobile. And the flames are going higher, and they can't cut you out of there. And your mama arrives at the wreckage, and looking at my beautiful girl, she's all mangled up in a car because of a stupid script. Would you do that? Look at me. No. Uh, uh, I need the bathroom. Uh, I crap myself. Uh, I can't believe that I crap myself. Oh, God. What is it? What kind of place is this? There's crap all over the place. And I apologize for that. What kind of respect is this you show me? You bring me to this place, your country. I come here and there's crap on the floor. I've never been so insulted. And I apologize for that. Clean it up. Clean it up. 